What's up everybody? This is Mark with Waist Deep Weight Fishing Southwest Florida. Hope all is well out in YouTube land. Hope everything is going good for everybody. The weekend is coming. Uh, the water is going to be nice and uh, everybody should be out on it. So today, what we're going to do is review Chicken Boy Bubba Clucker three inch mullet. Now since I've been using his baits and getting sponsored by the company, um, you know, I've tried all the different varieties and I have found the one that has produced the most trout, the most snook, the most redfish. And it turns out to be the bubble clucker three inch mullet. That seems to be the bait that emulates small fingerling mullet and that is one of our predator fish's favorite prey but there's a couple of different things to these lures that uh, are very unique and unlike all the other paddle, t paddle tails that are out there these paddle tails have not been utilized in our waters and i'm noticing that they are very effective we're going to talk about two different types of scenarios in the summertime um, down here in Florida, uh, water clarity and of course the wind. Um, and what colors you're going to be using in these conditions. You know, as the, 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 the winter went into spring and now spring going into summer, our winds are going to start dying out and fish are going to be able to pay more attention to the bait. It isn't going to be as turbulent. So there's going to be certain things that you're going to need to, to, to do as far as action. There's going to be certain colors that you're going to be needed to you know, use. And of course, there's going to be different sizes of bait um, that you're going to be needing to utilize as well. Uh, there's a difference between the size of bait that you're going to use in the wintertime versus the size of bait that you're going to be using in the spring and summer, depending on what species you're going to be go, you know, targeting. Before we do that, I do want to give a, a shout out to Chicken Boy Lures for providing me with all these awesome lures, this great gear, equipment for the sun, for sponsoring me, bringing me on their pro staff. Thank you very much. It's very, very appreciated. If you are interested in these baits, everything that you see here and that I discuss, there will be links in my description where you can visit their website purchase them on, them own, uh, on your own. If you have any questions about these, these baits, feel free to message me uh, either on Facebook or through uh, the comments on my YouTube. Without further ado, let's get on it. First thing is first. It is springtime, okay? It's getting warm. Our waters have went from 64 degrees up to 75 steadily climbing to 80. Uh, we are in April. By the beginning of May, our waters will be 80, 85 degrees. Um, that is gonna supercharge these fish. You know, that is their comfort zone here in Southwest Florida. They are gonna be feeding actively. Uh, one, that tide is moving. We're gonna have larger tides coming in, more water up against the shore. Therefore, more predators will be stalking the flats more actively what are they going to be looking for well in the winter time here in florida you know you can throw bigger mullet and shrimp because um, they're more prevalent uh, prevalent excuse me in the winter time uh, the bigger baits and reason being the bigger bait works is you know the trout and, and and you know the redfish and you know if it's not cold enough the snook uh, depending on where you live in Florida, we're go, we'll be hunting bigger baits because they want to, you know, they don't want to use as much energy to hunt down something small when it's so cold. So, you know, it's better to throw bigger bait in the winter time um, because that that larger predator would be more likely to attack a bigger bait. You know, spend more energy for a bigger meal. Makes sense, right? So, summertime on the other. Hand, you have tons of, of, of fry and smaller baits 
you know, those two or three inch glass minnows, the greenbacks, um, the scaled sardines, they're all going to be patrolling our inshore waters, you know, through the grass. You also have the blue crab that's going to be, you know, out on the grass as well in the potholes and of course, fingerling mullet. So that's why we're going to be going into these smaller three inch baits such as this, such as this, such as this. Now, also, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about what this bait does. So let me just pull one out here. I'm going to pull out one of my favorites for summertime. And that will be the Bubba Clucker three inch mullet right there in gold with a black back with a chartreuse tail. Now if there's one single bait out there that you need to have in your box for summertime fishing, for redfish, for trout, and for snook, it is this soft plastic right here. This is a must in your inshore box. Now what makes this bait very unique is it's short, it's stout, it has a very, very um, uh, sardine greenback-like profile, okay, mullet profile, which looks fantastic to these fish. But the reason why I'm learning that the fish are attacking these baits is this rooster tail right here. When this thing, when you jig this and you pop, pop, and drop it, these appendages right here send off an action and a vibration like I have never seen in my life. Now these baits are not prevalent here in Florida. They're huge down in Texas, possibly Louisiana, I'm not sure, but I know for sure people are using these like crazy in Texas. So I reached out to the company, I wanted to try these, and it turned out that the fish love them. They absolutely destroy these baits. You can check out my videos. But these appendages right here, and these cuts at the very, very end, let me move up to the camera and show you, okay? Absolutely make these baits flutter and kick and send off vibration like no other. Um, and I've learned that out of all their different styles of baits right now, the Bubba Clucker bait, the three inch mullet, is my number one. My number two, and it's got a little bit more of a larger profile. It looks more like a glass, glass minnow, um, a larger mullet. And this is about four inches, you know, with the jig head on is the Psycho Chicken. Now, of course, they have the same appendages, different colors, all right? But it's a different profile. It's a totally different profile compared to this. It's used the same way. You can swim it, you can jig it, you know, use the same cadence, reel, pop, pop, pop let it drop, real pop, pop, let it drop, real pop, 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 let it drop. Um, usually that's how I'll fish them. Uh, when I'm throwing them up against the mangroves, you know, I'm gonna throw them right before the mangrove roots, right before, you know, the foliage, and let it hit into the mud and work its way out the mud through the trough line and then back to me, preferably while the tide is moving in and the fish are pushing up against those mangroves. This would be my number my number two. This is the psycho chicken. And then my number three out of all these baits would be the whipping chicken in four inch. Now again this doesn't really look like you know anything in our waters but again the appendages 
okay? It has that thick mullet body, but that long tail. And when that thing is popping through the water, going up and then flowing down, okay, you have this, when this hits the grass, this is sitting in the grass with your jig head, okay? And this appendage is just moving in the tide like this, okay? And it's attracting fish. They work, okay? That's my order of first, second, and third for chicken boy lures. Now, in different areas, it might be, it might be different. In these particular areas, this is what's been working for me over the last two months. Um, and I'm sure it's gonna get even better as the waters warm up, the skies, you know, the, the, you know, the clouds and the sun comes out and warms up that flat. Um, the tides are gonna be moving. You know, uh, we're not gonna have those negative tides no more. We're gonna have way higher incoming tides where, you know, in the winter time, you may see a 1.4 or 1.5. Well, now we're going to start seeing a plus 2.3, a plus 2.5, a plus 2.6. That means a lot of water pushing up against those mangroves. And again, the fish that we're hunting are predators. They like to ambush. The trout will be ambushing in the grass potholes on the flats. The redfish will be on the flats as well on the oyster bars. Also up against the mangroves, ambushing the mullet. Um, and the greenbacks and the scaled sardine and the crab that gets washed in with the tide and the snook Well, they'll be doing the same thing They'll be running up and down the sandbars up and down the beaches in the troughs and also um, When we're fishing on the grass, they will be sitting in those mangrove roots Waiting for whatever swims by to come by and attack it So right now what I want you to do is just take a quick break from this I'm about to show you some footage of me catching a couple of trout on these little three inch mullet. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right. Let's see what we got. I think it's a trout. Oh yeah. Nice trout. Little guy. <laughs> that Texas Rattler jig hit. Oh, there he goes. That Texas Rattler jig hit and those. <sighs> Let's just keep it rolling. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can find out here. Water's just a little dusty, but other than that, got a little bit of grass, but that's fine. But Water's uh, a nice 75 degrees. It's going up to, I think, 83 today. And we're throwing the uh, Texas Rattler with the Chicken Boys Lure um, Bubble Clucker Green Shine. And hopefully we can find a couple of those big female trout once this tide starts to shift in again. Ooh, ah, oh, just got a hit. Just missed it. See if he comes back. Nope. Missed it. Oh, I got a dolphin coming my way. That could definitely put a damper on the situation. There's one. Oh, that's a good fish. Good fish. 
good, good trout. And here comes the dolphin. <laughs> you see him coming? That's a good trout too. This dolphin is going to be right here any second now. There he is. See him right in front of me? And that's a nice, that's a good trout. Jeez, easy, good trout. Look at that one. Let me clean this real quick. Yeah, man. Look at that one. That is a big, big, big trout. Beautiful. And look at what he's got down his throat. That Texas, right? Oh my God, that dolphin is right near me. <laughs> ah! That dolphin is right in front of me. Shoot. Yeah. He's waiting for me to throw this fish. Hopefully he gets out of here. Oh man. Come on fish, swim away, that dolphin's coming. There he is. Come on fish, go, 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 go. Oh. He got him. What's up? Okay, well, I guess we're back. I hope you're still here with me because I got some more stuff to talk about. Colors of these beads. Now, what happens here in Florida is very unique. Uh, as the summer comes, the leaves on the mangroves, okay, will fall into our salt water. Okay, and what happens is our beautiful aqua green water, crystal clear water, is now going to start to turn and look similar to a light iced tea. That is called tannic. In those tannic waters, you're going to have to change the color schemes of your beads. In the winter time, it's crystal clear. Okay, if you've got some dark skies, you can throw a little bit of a dark bait. But in the winter time, you would want to use something like the chicken on the chain okay a bi color you know a darker color on the top a lighter color on the bottom something that mimics the grass and the sand and the mud that you're fishing something that kind of blends in fish can see a lot farther during the winter because the water is clearer but in summertime it's a different ball game in the summer we've got harder tides We've got rain, you know, every day, you know, at least once a day, whether it's 10 minutes or two hours. Um, of course, we get winds and lightning, um, heat storms, and of course, the foliage from the mangroves, the leaves drop into the water and they decay. And the de when that decays and provides all the nutrients for the water, it turns that beautiful aqua green water into an iced tea color. So therefore, it stains the bait fish. It makes, sometimes makes the water a little bit darker and less clearer for the fish to see. So you're going to have to use something that fish can, can, can see, that they, they, they can see the profile. They may not be able to see the color, but they can see the outline. So in the spring and the summer, I'm gonna give you a couple of the baits that I'm gonna be using. Um, you may wanna make a note, get that pen and pad out right now, especially if you live in Southwest Florida because these are the baits that are going to work. So let's begin. Number one, where is it? Black and gold with a chartreuse tail. That's my number one. My number one for the psycho chicken. And everybody that knows about redfish knows redfish love gold. The straight gold. Psycho Chicken. The three inch 
Bobber Clocker Mullet. Those are my two number ones in those styles. On a clearer day, I might throw one of these bone, um, what is it again? Bone diamond on a clearer day, this bow diamond whipping chicken because it has those blue flakes in it that may mimic a pinfish. Okay, they, 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 this, this could very well look as if a pinfish was swimming through the water when it was clear enough. So I might go to that. Uh, definitely on a clearer day, I will be using this style of whipping chicken. But if we do have that tannic water and, you know, not that much visibility, I'm definitely, for the whipping chicken, this is going to be my number one pick right here. This is the Chartreuse Charlie, four inch. That's what I'm gonna be using when that water is tannic, when I decide to use this bait. That's the color. So, my number two for the Bubble Clocker Mullet. And I'll usually throw this first thing in the morning. Before I go to the gold, right as that sun is coming up and it's starting to get light out, I'm gonna be throwing the black mamba. Okay, it's got a little bit of red flake in it that you can see, a little bit. Fantastic, three inch. That's the bait I'm gonna be using early in the morning, just as the sun is peeking over the horizon in the summertime. Put this over here. Close all these bags. Sorry for the mess, but it is what it is. Now, if I'm not having any luck, and those baits are not producing, well then, there's only one other bait I'm going to, and you know, it used to. I used to always. It used to be my go-to, go-to bait, um, but for some reason, in the mornings, in that tannic water, it's either black and gold or, or, or black. Those are the colors that are working. The old saying goes: um, darker water, darker lures; lighter water, lighter lures. The next bait that I'm going to be utilizing. If that doesn't come through, is gonna be the Bubba Clucka three inch Phantom Purple. Now that is one sexy bait. And again, the profile is still the same, but the colors are different. So if the fish can't really see because it's tannic or it's, it's a little turbulent, you know, it may, it may be a little bit silted, again, Redfish are crustacean eaters. They may see this, this hint of purple or blue, okay, and mistake it for a small blue crab, and they're gonna attack it. That is why I chose that color. They work like crazy. I'm a big fan of, of the purples. Trout love them as well. Snook love them as well uh, also. It's just an all around great color and tannic water. Now sometimes you got scenarios where they're not hitting none of that. And they want to match the hatch. What I mean match the hatch is they want something that they see in the water on a regular basis, okay? And they just, it just so happens that day they're just picky and they're not going after those other colors. Well then, I wanna use something that's going to match the hatch. And this color scheme matches the mullet in our area and in most areas. It's got a little bit of that flake on top. It's a, it's a, you know, it, it's a double, double layer, double color. Okay, it's got that black top, white bottom, a little bit of flake, looks exactly like a mullet fingerling. 
This is another bait you must have in your box. And the name of that bait is Bubba's Skunk Breath. Three inch Bubba Cluck Mullet. Now there's different varieties of baits that I've used all through the years. Um, they, you know, there's some work better than others. You know, like these shrimp, I know in September and October, they're gonna be killer. When that water is crystal, uh, crystal clear emerald green and no shrimp come in, these smoking hot chartreuse four inch shrimp are going to be killer. But we'll save those for the winter time. And last but not least, Another all-time favorite when you have that water that's just a little tannic and low wind and those fish want something that is matching the environment in the summer. There is nothing better. And it's a tried and true. I don't care how many fishermen you speak to, all of them are going to tell you, or all of them have heard about New Penny. And this is the color right here. If the fish are being picky and you want something that looks like a shrimp, acts like a shrimp, but it's not a shrimp, okay, if it matches the colors of our southern shrimp, that's it right there. New penny. Got kind of that copper top, that sandy bottom, that salt and pepper, again with that chartreuse tail. That's my one, two, three, and four. Those four baits right there in the bubble clucker style, the three inch, will be the, the ones that I will be using on a regular basis every time I'm out on those flats. So, again, I wanna say thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Please visit um, chickenboylures.com if you're interested in the baits if you have questions or even if you want to get them from me you can go ahead and message me uh, through my comments through my Facebook uh, through messenger whatever way you want I'm here if you'd like to book a charter with me all my information is in the description we do one day two day three day five day sessions me and you one-on-one -on -one, out on the flats learning how to catch these fish so with that being said, I want to say thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, being a part of the Waste Deep family. God bless, and I'll see you on the water.